For quite a while, people have envisioned what life might be like in other universes. Because of the James Webb Space Telescope, the most impressive telescope in existence, that question can at long last be answered. While noticing the nearest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, which is just four light years away, researchers have seen some unconventional irregularities from one of the planets in the system, Proxima b. These irregularities, called counterfeit lights, have bewildered the best minds in mainstream researchers. However, what are they? Do these lights suggest the presence of wise life in the world? Join us as we investigate James Webb's frightening disclosure of city lights that change everything. The as-it-were life that we are presently mindful of is on Earth. Starting from the start of development, individuals have addressed whether there is life somewhere else in the universe. To complete such an interstellar pursuit, American space experts Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson sent off the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI project in 1984. The charity's objective is to assemble space-borne radio signals. Radio waves can travel farther and are subsequently bound to be recognized by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the exceptional Allen Telescope Array in the Californian Outpouring Mountains, since they are less scattered or absorbed than different sorts of radiation. Be that as it may, in the beyond 30 years, no irrefutable outsider sign has been found. Later, the James Webb Space Telescope's successful send-off supported the journey. In request to look at a scope of distances unseen planets circling faraway stars, the largest telescope on the planet, which is floating approximately one million miles from Earth and equipped with unbelievably touchy detectors, will be utilized. A long time back, there were no known planets outside those in our solar system. Yet from that point forward, more than 4,000 more planets, also alluded to as exoplanets, have been found circling different stars. As indicated by NASA, the universe might contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest indications of something going on under the surface past our nearby planet group might be viewed as in extraterrestrial vegetation. The Galileo shuttle turned its gear back toward Earth when it was in transit to Jupiter and tracked down an unequivocal sign of the presence of plants. The instrument recognized the vegetation red edge, a blend of red and infrared lights reflected by plants. For example, a planet like Earth that is canvassed in a wilderness ought to have a solid and simple to identify red edge. The JWST will gauge the red edge of far off Earth like planets in the tenable zone around stars. They could be significant indications of something going on under the surface in the exoplanet environment. When sunlight crosses a planet star, the JWST might have the option to identify it as it enters its atmosphere. The light's missing frequencies would then be found through spectroscopy. Particles and atoms in the air ingest explicit frequencies, making a trademark fingerprint that the JWST can perceive. This strategy might be utilized to decide the composition of the climate and decide if life is conceivable. All things considered, life could exist on Earth-sized planets with a climate like our own, with a prevalence of oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. By searching for components that aren't typically present, one might be ready to recognize mechanical life. Chlorocarbon CFCs, produced for use in refrigeration and cleaning items, would probably be noticeable to outsiders observing Earth's air from a distance. If the JWST saw CFCs in planetary environments, that sounds an obvious sign of civilization. All things considered, life on exoplanets could not in any way whatsoever look like life on Earth. In some cases, even natural life, like extremophile species, can appear to be alien. This is a gathering of creatures, basically microbes, that can persevere in conditions where other residing things would die. A few people can endure heat up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Some can endure colds as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of them can get by in solid acids with pH levels under 3 while others can be seen as on Earth in where we wouldn't anticipate finding any life whatsoever. Yet, since planets like Earth are bound to help life than planets with extreme temperatures or acidic circumstances, it very well may be a decent thought to begin with those first. Prime applicants could have temperatures that permit fluid water to exist on their surfaces and circle a steady star. The characterization for our Sun is a yellow G-type star. These stars are more uncommon and ordinarily have more limited lives in our universe. The probability of contemplating planets circling around red small stars, 
which are more incessant and have lower radiances and temperatures than the sun, is higher. There is an additional opportunity for the arrangement of life and advancement to produce complex life structures, because these stars have longer life expectancies. Altogether, around 40 light years away from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary framework will be the subject of JWST's first mission. It rotates around a quiet red small star with seven Earth-sized rough planets. Three of the rough planets in the purported habitable zone could have fluid water on their surfaces. The TRAPPIST-1 star, despite having a lot more modest and colder mass than our Sun, emanates light that is like that of Earth. Because of the nearby circle of its planets, the most obvious opportunity for people to see city lights outside the solar system is Proxima Centauri, a red small star that is 4.25 light years from the Sun and our closest star. Proxima is about multiple times fainter than the Sun, so that a planet should be multiple times nearer to it than Earth is to the Sun for it to help life because of fluid water. In August 2016, stargazers found a planet with 1.3 times the mass in this habitable region. In a Goldilocks-like habitable zone where the light force is perfect to dissolve water, Proxima b circles Proxima Centauri. It's conceivable that Proxima b is an airless dormant planet, considering that it circles its red small star, Proxima Centauri, a ways off of just 4.6 million miles. The planet Proxima b is in a nearby circle that opens it to solid solar winds that can completely obliterate its climate. It likewise gives enough sunlight for temperatures and fluid water that are like those on Earth. As a result of its closeness to the star, Proxima b is believed to be firmly locked, continuously showing a similar size to the star as the Moon does in reference to Earth. Proxima Centauri is around 18% the mass of the Sun and consumes undeniably less brilliantly than one could expect for a planet so close to its star. Only 5% of the world's Sun distance which might be expected to be a intensely hot as fluid water could without much of a stretch exist on Proxima b as long as the planet has an atmosphere to warm it since the aggregate energy arriving at it from the Sun is as it were 65% of what Earth gets. However, the planet isn't particularly well disposed to life. It is in all probability clean locked which implies that it generally faces something similar course toward the star and creates super durable constantly agrees with critical temperature changes. The planet likewise gets 100-fold the amount of high-energy radiation as Earth does due to its vicinity to Proxima Centauri, including X-beams and bright lights. Proxima b is additionally assaulted with high-energy particles during star eruptions. Unless it has a protecting attractive field like Earth, however, there are sure reasonable circumstances that could make it a lovely world. Unfortunately, models recommend that the climate of clean locked planets might be vulnerable to a quick breakdown due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side. A planet's air can be renewed by volcanic movement and for planets with solid attractive fields. This air is more averse to get away. Since we know nothing about Proxima b's volcanic movement or attractive field strength, we can't even surmise whether the planet has an atmosphere. However, since an air surmises the presence of oceans, and the two taken together assume the presence of life, we are frantic to know whether Proxima b has a complex progress. It could have sunlight-based chargers covering the day side to create power to light and warm the evening side, which would somehow or another be excessively cold. Furthermore, dim for agreeable residents, the disclosure of Proxima b has set off a competition to decide whether it travels its star's face as seen from Earth. These travels would let S researchers decide the planet's size and mass, which would then empower them to decide its thickness. Knowing that would approve the planet's rough cosmetics and give data on the materials used to make those stones during a travel, starlight could unveil the nature of the planet by going through its environment. Yet the probability that the circle will be in the right arrangement so that researchers might be able to see a travel is simply 1.5%. The star's affinity to erupt, two, muddles matters. Space expert David Kipping of Columbia College says the star is interesting as star's heat causes a rough planet to ingest sunlight and REIT it as infrared light. However, rough planets produce an unmistakable kind of infrared radiation from stars like Proxima Centauri. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope was made explicitly to concentrate on infrared light. Proxima b's infrared intensity mark is the way to recognizing the planet's air. Moreover, the infrared part of the range has severe areas of strength for an infinity for water. The JWST will actually want to notice city lights on Proxima b's evening side regardless of whether it were all around as weak as what our civilization at present utilizes on the night side of Earth, 
Webb could identify counterfeit enlightenment as long as it was obliged to a recurrence band in the infrared range. Proxima B is perhaps our nearest opportunity to look for non-alien life because of its proximity. Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun, has captured the attention of astronomers due to its potential to host planets within its habitable zone. One such planet of interest is Proxima B, discovered in 2016. Proxima B orbits its star at a distance that could allow for the existence of liquid water on its surface, a key ingredient for life as we know it. However, the conditions on Proxima B present significant challenges for habitability. Being in close proximity to Proxima Centauri, Proxima B is subject to intense stellar activity. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, smaller and cooler than our sun, but it produces frequent flares and high levels of X-ray and ultraviolet radiation. These flares and radiation bursts could strip away Proxima B's atmosphere over time, making it difficult for the planet to maintain stable conditions conducive to life. Despite these challenges, scientists remain intrigued by Proxima B and continue to study its characteristics. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, with its advanced capabilities in infrared observation, is expected to play a crucial role in furthering our understanding of this exoplanet. By studying Proxima B's atmosphere using the JWST, scientists hope to detect potential signs of life or habitability indicators such as the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key gases. The concept of habitable zones around stars is central to the search for extraterrestrial life. A habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, refers to the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. This zone is not too hot nor too cold, allowing for the possibility of life to thrive. For Proxima Centauri and its planets, including Proxima b, the habitable zone is much closer to the star compared to our solar system's habitable zone around the sun. Proxima b's proximity to its star means that it is tidally locked, with one side permanently facing the star, the day side, and the other side in perpetual darkness, the night side. This creates extreme temperature differences between the two hemispheres, potentially ranging from scorching hot on the day side to freezing cold on the night side. Understanding how this temperature difference affects the planet's atmosphere and potential habitability is a key area of research. In addition to Proxima b, the TRAPPIST-1 system has also garnered attention in the search for habitable exoplanets. TRAPPIST-1 is a nearby star system with several Earth-sized planets orbiting it, three of which are located within the star's habitable zone. These planets, known as TRAPPIST-1, D, E, and F, are intriguing targets for further study because of their potential to support liquid water on their surfaces. The discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has revolutionized our understanding of planetary systems and the potential for life beyond Earth. Since the first confirmed detection of an exoplanet in the 1990s, astronomers have identified thousands of exoplanets using various techniques, including the transit method, radial velocity measurements, and direct imaging. Each detection provides valuable insights into the diversity of planetary systems in our galaxy. Exoplanets come in a wide range of sizes, compositions, and orbital configurations, challenging our preconceptions about what constitutes a typical planetary system. Some exoplanets are gas giants like Jupiter, while others are rocky worlds similar to Earth. The study of exoplanets has revealed that planetary systems can be vastly different from our own solar system. One of the most exciting prospects in exoplanet research is the search for biosignatures, signs of life that can be detected remotely from Earth. Biosignatures could include the presence of certain gases like oxygen, methane, or ozone in a planet's atmosphere, which could indicate biological activity. Detecting biosignatures on an exoplanet would be a profound discovery providing strong evidence that life exists beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, NASA's next-generation space observatory, is poised to revolutionize our ability to study exoplanets and search for biosignatures. Scheduled for launch in 2022, the JWST is equipped with advanced instruments capable of detecting the faint signals from exoplanet atmospheres. By analyzing the spectra of starlight passing through exoplanet atmospheres, 
the JWST will be able to identify key gases and characterize the conditions on these distant worlds. One of the primary goals of the JWST's exoplanet science program is to study the atmospheres of potentially habitable exoplanets. By focusing on planets within their star's habitable zones, where conditions may be favorable for liquid water, the JWST aims to identify atmospheric compositions that could support life. This research will build on previous observations from telescopes like Hubble and Spitzer, providing unprecedented detail about exoplanet atmospheres. The search for exoplanets is not only about finding worlds that resemble Earth, but also understanding the diversity of planetary systems and their formation processes. Planetary formation theories suggest that planets form from the gas and dust disks around young stars, a process that can lead to a wide range of planetary sizes and compositions. By studying exoplanets across different ages and environments, astronomers can test these theories and refine our understanding of how planets form and evolve. In recent years, astronomers have made significant progress in characterizing exoplanet systems. Techniques such as gravitational microlensing, which uses the gravitational lensing effect of stars to detect planets, have expanded our ability to detect smaller and more distant exoplanets. These advancements have led to the discovery of exoplanet systems with multiple planets orbiting a single star, as well as planets in orbits that were previously thought to be inhospitable. The study of exoplanets has also provided insights into the potential for habitability in extreme environments. Some exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, which are smaller and cooler than the Sun, may be capable of maintaining stable conditions for liquid water despite their close proximity to their stars. These super-Earths and mini-Neptunes challenge our understanding of habitable zones and the conditions necessary for life to exist. The field of exoplanet research is interdisciplinary, drawing on expertise from astronomy, planetary science, astrobiology, and more. Scientists use a variety of observational techniques and theoretical models to study exoplanets and their potential for habitability. This collaborative approach has led to groundbreaking discoveries and push the boundaries of our knowledge about planets beyond our solar system. Looking ahead, future space missions and ground-based observatories will continue to advance the field of exoplanet research. Missions like NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope will expand our catalog of exoplanets and enable detailed studies of their atmospheres. Ground-based observatories, such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the Giant Magellan Telescope, GMT, will provide complementary observations and help characterize exoplanets in unprecedented detail. The search for exoplanets is not just a scientific endeavor but also a quest to understand our place in the universe. By studying exoplanets and searching for signs of life beyond Earth, astronomers hope to address fundamental questions about the prevalence of life in the cosmos and the conditions required for its existence. The discovery of potentially habitable exoplanets has inspired new generations of scientists and captured the imagination of people around the world. In conclusion, the study of exoplanets represents one of the most exciting and rapidly advancing fields in modern astronomy. From the discovery of the first exoplanets to the search for biosignatures with the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers are making unprecedented strides in understanding planetary systems beyond our own. Each new discovery brings us closer to answering age-old questions about the possibility of life elsewhere in the universe and our place in the cosmic tapestry.